the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. With that in mind, let's go ahead first. We'll always talk about the, the Lord's Prayer, right? So let's go ahead and let's go into what the uh, uh, topic is today. And then we're going to go into, uh, let me see here. Yeah, screen two. Yeah. We'll go ahead here and we'll share. And you see the topic? Uh, the topic is talking about the the teaching the gospel, Yeshua's way. Yeshua is the uh, Hebrew name for Jesus Christ, and 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 we call him. That's what he was called when he walked this earth. So we're going to use that, okay? So teaching the gospel Yeshua's way, and the thing I'm saying is stop failing the test. And Matthew six thirteen says. It lead us not into temptation. In, in other words, you will be uh, tested in life. Christ was tested. But we want to be able to be led away from those temptations. Uh, and God has given us the open book of the test. Let's go and find the answer for the test that we're going to face. Christ did. That's how Christ answered. Christ gave the answer based on open book tests. He said, it is written. Let's, while we start learning to walk our life based on what's written, learn what's written. If you don't know the answer, reach. Hey, look, I like that. It's a, it's a, a TV show uh, in New York called Taxi Driver. And, and one of the things is that he asks questions and you can win money between your destination uh, that you you call the cab for, and and one of the things is he has a a uh, you answer the question yourself, you get like three strikes. Uh, you can you can reach out for somebody else to help you answer the question. You can call you can ask somebody out of the street to answer the question for you. But you can you, you see what I'm saying that there's, there's it there's ways it tries to give you to answer the test, right? What I'm trying to say is. As we go through life, let's use the word of God as our answer to the test that we face in life. I guarantee you what is written is written. Who you are is what's written. You know, you're not what people call you to be. You know, you know people like I said, it was the, the N-word. Hey, look, I, I'm not the N-word. <laughs> oh, I'm a child of God. huh? And I'm made in the image of God. Amen. You want to call my flesh what my flesh is? My flesh is that I'm an African American. I mean, and then some of us, I got some of the European in me. Glory to God. I got some Native American in me, very small percent of I got that in me. I got I got I got genes and uh, of Africans in me. You know, I got a lot of stuff of 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 various groups, ethnic groups in me. But the main thing is, the most important thing is, I got the I got the Holy Spirit in me. You got the Holy Spirit in you. You have God in you. Every last one of us have God in us. And every last one of us have a right to be connected to God through the Savior. Not focus on what, you know, and I know one of the things people call it, they, they, they talk about the fact of is look at the paintings that they gave Yeshua. Yes, sure. And 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 you get into this and say, well, why did why did he give these different paintings and stuff like that, that 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 look like one one ethnic ethnic group, ethnic group, uh, or one group of people, uh, and and opposed to uh, what area that he came from. And let me come off that. But like I said, lead us not to the temptation is we need to start passing the test. We need to start going by what is written when we answer things. So let's stop for a second and give a good example of what we just talked about. Is the fact is that it is written that Christ, that the Hebrews came from the Middle Eastern and Northern Africa area. It, that, that is written. So when we see paintings of someone looking like they came from Europe, we need to sit and say it is written that he came from Africa and 
the Middle East. That's what's written. So if you want to paint a picture, paint a picture based on what's written. If you want to paint a lie, you just understand it's a lie because it's not written that way. He didn't come from, you know, there were Romans in the Middle East. <laughs> they, those people came from Europe and they look like people from Europe. Those people that came from Africa, those people that came from the Middle East, they look like people from Middle East. All right. So it is written. I'm not, I got to argue with you. You could sit there and try to call, you can call Christ. You, no, you can't. But if you want to, I'm going to tell you what is written. It is written. It is written that Christ was born in Bethlehem. Bethlehem is in the Middle East or Northern Africa. It is written that the children of Africa was in, uh, the children of uh, the Hebrews lived in Africa for 400 years. It is written that Jacob, Israel, proper, came into Northern Africa to Egypt with 75 people. And they left 400 something years later with over a million people. That's written. And they only went uh, what I call it down the street. <laughs> they just went to what's now proper Israel. When they really in the land of Cana. That's written. There's no argument or debate about it. You can sit there and and and, and say, you know, like I think I think the girl did on Fox News and said, uh, I think her name is Megan. She said it's like, well, we know Jesus is is is, is a European. Because you said white, that means no, normally European. It's that that's not written. That's not written that way. He it did not come from Europe. So he shouldn't be looking like a European, right? That, that's because it's written. I'm not sitting there. You can you can make it in where you want to, but it is written that the people of the book came from Northern Africa, Egypt. They start off in Mesopotamia, North, in, which is Middle East and now. Middle East is not a continent. So we talk about either Asia or Africa, right? That's what's written. And we know that the climate and everything else back then, just like now, uh, you need to have some melanin in your skin to protect you. Because it's, it's you, I'm pretty sure most of the Europe people, European, the Romans that were there, uh, stayed there long enough. They they looked and had uh, <laughs> tan in order to protect themselves from the, the, the constant heat. That's just part of life, people. But that's what's written. So I don't need to argue with you about it. Um, the, 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 the European picture that we have of Christ is wrong because it's not written that way. It is, it is once you put it what's written, you go by what's written. So it's, get over it. And, and and then for the rest of us, let's recognize, yes, they came from Northern Africa or Middle East. And those people look olive color or you talk about the shade of color of my skin or something like that. But it's just, it, it doesn't matter. And that's what you really need to understand. It does not matter because we're all made in the image of God. And John 4, 24 says, God is a spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. See, we are spiritual made in the image of God. This is just a, this body is just a vehicle for us to operate in this physical realm. And it has this body comes, got people from European, the people coming from Africa, people from, uh, South America, people from Middle East, people from uh, Asia, people from uh, you name it, all over the world, people China. We got people all over the world with with vehicles to operate in this physical realm. But in reality, it's the spirit of who we are that matters. So those people that want to sit there and and, and 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 say, no, he's he's European white, you say, where's well, written this? that he came from Bethlehem. He was born in Bethlehem. He was raised there. Matter of fact, not only that, he even went to Egypt. The Bible said that he called, I called my son, because after the, uh, he was born, 
the the uh, Joseph took uh, Christ, Mary, and they went and lived in Africa, Egypt. That's what's written. That's not that. That's not you can call you call your pastor. What are they gonna tell you? Yeah, it's written that way. Yep, he went to Africa. Yep, he was born in Bethlehem. Yep. Yeah, the Hebrews were in Africa for 400 and some years. Yep, that's true. He's going to tell you that. This is, that's written. You're going to say, well, why is the picture painted European? Because we, we wanted to paint them that way. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I'm just saying. Because of, we wanted to paint them that way. <laughs> and just leave it at that. But the fact is that what is written is what's written. And you see how easy that is, better to say what's written. I, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing else but so what is written. That's how we should approach life, not to be controversial or anything else. What's what's written? That makes a difference, doesn't it? Feels good too, don't it? What's written? <laughs> whatever you whatever you want to point or paint a picture, talk or whatever you want to say, you want to call people different names. What's written? What's written is that we all made the image of God. Period. That's how you should start approaching life. That's why you want to read the Bible for yourself so that you can respond for what is written. And stop trying to worry about what people say you are and stop passing the test and just letting people know what it is written of who you are. I'm a child of God. I'm a royal priest. I'm a holy nation. I'm a peculiar people. I've been called out of doctors into his marvelous light. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm a child of God. Matter of fact, my Lord's prayer tells me I'm a child of God. Huh? So let's that's that's the focus of this. Pass the test. It's an open book test. And maybe we need to stop putting that as a title. But the bottom line is pass the test. Because you're gonna be tested. We get tested daily. And as we get tested daily, let's refer back to the book so that we can get this thing right. Amen. So bottom line is. Stop failing the tests. There's many tests in life you're going to have. And let's start focusing on passing the test. Okay? And like I said, they said, lead us not into temptation is part of the Lord's Prayer, which is Matthew 6.13. So with that in mind, as we move forward, we're going to use this as session one. And I know it covered a lot just in one session, right? But we got, we'll cover plenty. That's all right. In Matthew 6, starting in verse 9, it says, After this matter, therefore pray ye. What he's saying is that this Christ, this came from Christ. It was in the red when it was talking, okay? It is written that Christ is teaching them how to pray. All right? He says, Our Father. See, right there, that should tell you that all of us are considered children of God and he's teaching us how to pray that we remind ourselves that's what I call the Lord's Prayer we remind ourselves daily that we are the children of God not to you know some people say well only people in the book no no <laughs> we're gonna go in Genesis we Christ came and brought all of us back and connected to God we got what you said it is written that Christ says to approach him in prayer as our father that's what's written and because it's written that way that means that I'm a child of God and you are a child of God as well amen <laughs> which are in heaven I'm not preaching I'm not praying to an idol I'm not praying to a stone I'm not praying to paganism I'm not praying to the devil I'm praying to the father in heaven that's what he wants you to make sure you know you're praying to the father in heaven and then you hallow be thy name meaning you glorify him because he's worthy to be glorified and then look at this thy kingdom come one thing I like about the fact is that having a kingdom means it has to have a king that kingdom is the father in heaven amen your father is your king your king and the Bible said that the kingdom of heaven is within you meaning God sits on the throne of your life he's in you look at this key right here that's what I'm talking about what's written thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven heaven what i'm saying is you can either rechange that and say thy written word will be done in earth as it is in heaven are you tracking are you, 
let me come off a second, just a second, just a second. I'm just saying, I want to make sure. Are you hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? Thy will, thy written word will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So when people try to tell you and call you something else, you doing your daily prayer is saying, thy will be done. Thy written word will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And one of the words is that I am a child of God. I am not the N word. I am not white trash. I am not a demon. I am not a slave because I'm redeemed. It is written that I'm redeemed. It is written that I'm a child of God. You can't override the word of God. That's the whole point. Whether you are a white supremacist, whether you are a black supremacist, I don't care what a supremacist, what y'all want to call it. You can't override the word of God. The word of God overrides you because it is written. And that's where you want to start getting your life to recognize who you are based on what's written in the word of God. That's why the word of God is important to me because I don't have time to go and sit there and look and read some walls on, uh, in, in Egypt. I don't have time to read some cure forms. I don't have time to sit there and read some Samaritan books and writings and all that other junk. I have the word of God in my hands because I don't know what those things say I am. I don't know what I don't know what the I don't know what the what what the walls on Egypt says I am. I, me, who I am. Cause I knew they had slaves then. I knew they had people that were that big I'm talking about Egypt now, big old uh pyramids and, and they 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 people who were very honored and powerful, whatever, was buried with their servants. So that mean all their servants were not uh were in support we're called subordinate to them but my bible tells me that i am one in christ my bible tells me that i am part of the body of christ it's written that way right if you be in christ then i'm heir according to the promises through the written word. Listen to what I'm saying. You see where I'm coming from? Let the word of God define who you are. Don't let people define you who they are, who you are, because people can't define you. They're gonna sit there, you got you got people racist and everything else, teaching the children to be racist, and all you need to understand is it is written. That's what we need to start to, it's written. I hear what you, I don't care what your mama said. Your mama didn't create me. Your mama didn't create you. Your mama didn't create herself. Your daddy didn't create you. <laughs> no, European white people didn't create me. European white people didn't create you. Black Africans didn't create you. Jews didn't create you. No man created another man. No, uh -uh. The creator tells me who I am, and he has given me a book that tells me who I am. And that's how you need to sit there and look at life. Who are you based on the word of God? And stop letting people define who you are. That's what I wanted to say when you're passing the test. You got an open book test. When somebody says something that's contradiction or contradicting what you understand of who you are, you go back to the word of God and say, oh, nope, 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 that's not who I am. You're a criminal. No, 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 that's not what's written. It's not written that I'm a criminal, it's written that I'm a, I'm a child of God. No, I'm going to call you a criminal. It is written that you are not God. My Bible said it's written that besides God, there is no one else. Now, so I'm I'm going to go by what God says. Just like a Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when the man sit there, one of them, to bow down, when the, when the tambourine and all that stuff happened, and they said no, no. And then they're going to say, we're going to throw you in the fire. They said, my God can deliver me from the fire. And if he don't, I'm still not going to worship you. I'm still not going to be what you call me to be. I'm going to be who what he calls me to be. Let's get this thing. Man, I may change the title again. And sit there and say, pass the test. It's an open book. Go to the open book. When somebody calls you something other than what the book says, you need to be able to say, it is written that I'm a child of God. It is written that I've been redeemed. It is written that I have eternal life. It is written that, that, that I have the inheritance, the promises of God, that's written. 
It is written that I'm forgiven, even if you don't forgive me. It is written that he loves me, even if you don't love me. It is written that I am one in the body. Then what you gonna call me a subhuman or, or, or superior human or whatever human you wanna try to label me. Or would you, you sit there and try to sit there that I'm not supposed to have abundant life, but it is written that I'm supposed to. It is written that no, you're not above me nor below me. It is written that we are one if we want to be, if you wanna be in Christ. But if you want to be in the world, you want to be the child of the devil, you want to be under the God of this world, the devil. If you want to be blinded, that's, that's the, hey, you have a choice, but the light has come. And we're supposed to let that light shine. So that's who you are. Just understand that. So when you say, thy will be done, we're talking about it is the word of God is where his will is. <laughs> I just want to put that, that's so important. I think, matter of fact, I think I'm tapping on something right here. If we get to the point where we start focusing on what's written, who I am based on what's written, who I am based on what, what makes a difference. Once again, verse 10, thy will, what is written in the word of God be done in earth as it is in heaven. What is written in the, the word of God will be done. His, that's his will, is his word, be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's what's important for you. You are what the word of God says you are, not what people say you are. The word, listen, nobody can put themselves in the place of God because it is written besides me God said there is no other God you can sit there some people want to sit there and go based on I'm superior based on the color of my skin it is written that it, <laughs> I'm a child of God you're not above me you're not below me we're all children of God this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.